Hello everybody, today we make it, it's an easy dish. We make orecchiette with a broccoli di rapa and a hot Italian sausage. And I like to do with the plum tomato. What I did with the plum tomato, I was already do with the hot water and I peel off, I take the skin out. Now to make the sauce with this, I got two spoon the garlic. I got my Oye Baby a 3 spoon onion, I got one pound orecchiette and I got about two and a half pound of broccoli. Now the broccoli, everybody can see, I do like this. Do no use the big leaves. This, you gotta be like that. It come out really good. The big leaves, you can throw away or you can do something else, but I like to do like this. Now for start, I put already the hot the water because I want to boil the broccoli for maybe three minutes, not too much. If the water is not boil yet, I want to start to do the sausage. In the sausage, I want to use a cup of garlic. I put right over here. And I got oil over here, not too much oil. Because I got the sausage already, it's a little greasy, got it. And I use a little oil like this. And I put on the stove. Now, the sausage, you can cut with a knife, like this, and you open up. But, to do fast, do like this, what I do, look, you take the sausage, and you, you squeeze, you squeeze on this other side, look, it come out really easy. You don't gotta cut it with a knife. But you wanna do with a knife, you know, I do the way, easy way. A lot of people, you know, the knife, it's a little danger, the cut with a knife. But this is, a, you take this, you squeeze, you look, it come out. After you squeeze it again, look, it come out really easy. You don't gotta do with a knife or this and that, look. That's what you gotta do. Now, Let's start, like I said, with this pats I gotta put on the stove, the, make the garlic a little brown, and I start to fry the sausage. Okay, now, the pats it's with the, with the oil and garlic, and I put the flame on. Now, this is another pats. This pats I wanna do with the plum tomato. I gotta fry, and I wanna make a sauce with the plum tomato. I got the garlic. Onion. And the oil. This is really easy to make. It's so easy. It's really good dinner in pasta, orecchietta. Now, this is my Oye Baby, what I do, a quarter and a half. So you like a hot. So you don't like no hot, no make the pepper. And the sausage, so you don't like a hot sausage, you can buy sweet sausage. But I like hot, and that's what I gotta do. Now this we put on the stove because I want to live fry. I gotta do the plum tomato to put over here. Now I put this on the stove and I want to start to fry this the garlic on your hot pan. Now we put this on and I use the wood spoon. The wood spoon is the best. Like this, you know, scratch the parts on the bottle. It's really good with a spoon. Now, everybody see that the oil is hot over here now. Now what I gotta do, I gotta start to put the sausage. I wanna fry separate the sausage, but after I gotta put inside with the sauce. Now I pick it up with the sausage I got over here. Everybody see? And when I do this, you see, it's like that. And I break a little bit of the sausage, like this. And 
It's so delicious this dish. Not everybody make like he won. But this, I was to make this in Italy, Dorsara, I was to make it this way. Cause we like sausage with the broccoli di rapa and I'll make it this way. A lot of people you know want to do this way. See so you like my recipe, you can do like this. Now I load out the, the flame. So what happened? I got more over here. I gotta take it out for the what do you call it? The guts, the pig, you got the sausage, that's what he use. You see? I got this. Yeah, I squeeze. Yeah, I'll chop everything. Okay, now this is the garlic, onion, and the pepper. It's almost ready. I load that a little bit. I gotta chop my plum tomato. And now we did a little mix of the sausage. Look how nice it look. This you gotta make a nice color. Of this sausage. Okay, now the sausage. See, it's a nice color. I saute a little bit. Yeah, I like the use little white wine it give a good taste okay I'll leave it stay a little bit more because the wine you gotta take all the wine out over here but look it look really good now okay now this is the problem with the tomato like I said before I clean up already take the skin out what you do you cut like this and You chop like that, like this. Now this, this I got it. I got it ready for put this and on, on the the garlic and onion gets ready. And this tomato sauce, you don't gotta cook it too much. Like in 15 minutes, this is done. It's so good. And I dump this right inside over here, like this. See? You give a nice turn. Look, it look really good, this. Now, now this, I'll leave it cook like maybe 10 minutes. And I want to put the sausage inside over here. Now, I got it. The pots over here, it's with the water, it's boiled already. And what I gotta do, I gotta put my broccoli di rapa to cook like maybe three minutes, no longer. After I gotta cook it together with the sausage and with the tomato over here. Okay, now I will drain the broccoli, the water boil, and we put it right over here. Okay, like I said, do not stay too long this broccoli. The sauce boil good. We load that. The sausage is good. Now this broccoli. Couple more minutes and I gotta take it right out. Okay, now the sausage almost ready. Let me taste the sausage. Mmm. Delicious. At the same time, I want to test my wine. Mm. Good. Now I got the broccoli ready. I got to drain my broccoli. Right over here. You see how nice? Now this broccoli, it go right inside the my sauce, like that. Give a nice turn over here. At the same time, you put the broccoli, para pa pam. You put the sausage inside. That's it. This is a really easy dish to make. You give a nice turn, like this. After you taste, because the sausage is a little salty, it's hot, 
a sunny sort at the end, a poor little sort. But for now, it, this you gotta cook for 10 minutes. Now, the orecchiette is ready. I wanna mix a little stuff like this first. Like this, like this it make all the, the taste the same. Look, we turn it like this. Okay, and now, I prepare the dish. I put a little bit of this on the top, just like that. Now I got the pecorino cheese over here. I like the shred, the cheese on the top, like this. It comes really good. Look at look at that. Ooh, yeah, baby. Yeah, look at that. Look at this. Really good. All right. Now let's test. Look at the broccoli, the sausage, everything. And I don't want to forget when I eat this, I got my Oye baby. Mm. Mm. It's really good. I hope somebody make this. You gotta let me know. She like this dish. Salute everybody. Chin chin. I hope you make this dish like I did. It's easy. It not take no longer to do this dish. Salute.